What did Greg say when he told you you were doing this? Hey, Donna, can you do me a favor? Sure. Dancing in the I know, he didn't really give me a lot of details. I was shocked. So I was like, is this a documentary for a running club? I'm not the runner to film. <laughs> So who is Greg Lemon? Greg is one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my entire life, and I'm old. Greg Lemon! Ah, uh, Greg Lemon! When I think of Greg, I think of just joy. You're kind of happy to know him and kind of vibe off of him. I love because he has a nice social media, and he's his beautiful smile. If you're running in North Park, you're going to run past Greg. He's going to give you encouragement. He's going to high-five you. To invite you in. I walked into this store. He was like, you should come to our run club. I talked to Greg. Come run with us. Like, we do this every week. He's like, hey, do you know about our Wednesday night group? Like, you should come. Come to run club. Come to run club. I mean, to run club. I said, fine, I'll come to your run club. Yeah, that's, that's how it happened. Let's get going. Okay. I gotta figure out what kind of music we're gonna listen to tonight. Ow, ow. Well, let's just set you up right here. This is a front. Smoke and mirrors all the time, everything. Selling shoes is so secondary. The announcements for today. Hello. Pretty much anyone who comes to the store, we're like, hey, do you live in the neighborhood? Come to our Wednesday Night Run Club. We're a strange group. Me and Chad and Julie, we intentionally do things as authentically ourselves as possible. Julie brings the energy, like a Telemundo all the time. And then Chad's like a Phil Jackson. He's the Zen master. Without Chad, we'd be lost. It's been nine years, creeping up on 10. Look at Greg especially. You got it already? Yeah, so it was a pipe dream. So this is our grand opening. It was super slow. I was their first customer. I bought a pair of shoes from them. That's the first dollar, and I gave it to them. It was a lot of quiet times. You know, we opened the doors, and for weeks, it was like we would sit here, and like a couple people would come in. You know, walking through the door and being like, I, I, yeah, you guys are here, but it's still weird that there's a running store like in North Park kind of thing. North Park was on the up and up. Right next to Balboa Park, maybe one or two breweries had popped up in the neighborhood. It's like a younger demographic for sure, but then it's, it's just like a really diverse neighborhood. I'm half black and Japanese. I think it makes people of color feel comfortable shopping at the store when they know someone who might look like them or have their same background. The running industry is predominantly like white men, just like representing minorities, especially like in this industry, I think is super important. Oh, this is our first thousand dollar day. One year anniversary and they had this many people. Every Wednesday I get sad for two minutes. It's like 5.58 and there's gonna be 10 people out here and I'm gonna be like, Did, is no one showing up today? And then everyone shows up right at six. It's, it's like clockwork. <laughs> Everybody, if I can get your attention, please. All right, first, welcome to Wednesday Night Run Club. My name is Greg. Let's be safe. Remember the rules of the road. Let's roll. The Run Club is just like a really diverse group. There's nothing that makes me happier than when someone comes in and like, oh, I was scared to come in a running store. I'm not a runner. It's like, that's cool, but you're gonna, you're gonna start running. I never considered myself a runner before running with Milestone. During the pandemic, I was living in North Park. I was like, oh, I gotta go check this running club. And at that first run, when I saw everybody there, I was like, what the hell? And then I was hooked ever since. They invite me and then I say, oh, I'm not really a runner. I say, oh, you can do it, come on. And I start running and I start coughing. Finally, I get in a good shape. I really like to run. I wasn't a runner. I was like, who runs? 5K, my first 10K, my first eight miler. They had raffle drawings and I won free entry into a rock and roll Las Vegas half marathon. And I was like, fine, I'll run 13 miles, but not past that. Full marathon and 50K. I lost 100 pounds. I don't know, it makes you stronger. It makes you feel good about yourself. Whoever says kids shouldn't get a participation medal is mean. 
I've never seen anything like it. It's a place for everyone to kind of come together. Too many times people think, well, runners are only a certain demographic. They've shown that that's not the case. Anybody can find somebody that looks like them. The running club has like every phrase, everything that you can imagine. They are changing what people in their mind think a runner is supposed to look like. I think our story and communities, it's just like a really diverse group. It's nice when you can go to a place, you can look around, and no matter where you're coming from, there's other people that look like you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Yep. Good luck in the race. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, congratulations for uh, the good recovery. Kind of push. We are 100% a community-based store. Hey, is this Ashley? We close at six, but we can always stay open later if needed. I don't think it's necessarily your shoes. It could just be the increase of running. Sorry if you wanted shoes today. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. He's like, you want to take care of your people. They're taking care of you and just your community. Like, if you do well by them, they'll do well by you. The double down, that was the one. That was the one that got me. So I was diagnosed with pericarditis. I had inflammation in the lining of the heart, but the cardiologist like took me from every activity. And anything that I was gonna do at that time just went completely on a stop. Greg was like, listen, I know you can't run, but just please come to the club. Just come and hang out with us. And they, they were there. And it was, it really like, the family that I made through the running club, they were there during probably one of the hardest time of my life. And that meant a lot. The finish line, I want to get there. I didn't think I could, and then I did. But you can do that, you can do, you can do anything. I wouldn't have any of these if Greg didn't bully me. And I came to Run Club one day. It's pretty cool. During the pandemic, everything shut down and we didn't have an online store at the time. And we had just like a flooding of people calling the store, sending us orders on like Instagram, like, can I buy three pairs of shoes from you? Like texting us and we're like, you don't need three shoes. We're like, no, but you guys have to make it through this. Uh, yeah. Why do you think they did that? Uh, just to uh, support us, yeah. What's up, y'all? It's harder. It's harder to make friends as an adult. Meeting new people, different conversations, are you gonna get along with these people? That stuff can be scary. An invitation to something is something that a lot of people are, are looking for. You just gotta put yourself out there. An invitation is openness. That's huge. Like when we first moved here, you always want to feel included. Any time that I am invited into a community or into an event, I feel honored. Watching Chad and Greg so genuinely inviting everybody to Run Club, everybody that walks in the door. Seeing that happen time after time, to me now, is a powerful thing. What was your name? Yolan. Yolan. Cool. Nice to meet you, man. There's a story to tell about two guys who walked into a building, and sure, anybody can decorate a store and fill it with shoes and clothes, but are they gonna succeed? And they're a success story in every sense of the word. Shoes to me are just like secondary, but it's really just like that people feel welcome anywhere they go and, and the running store should be no different. It's important that all these other groups of people feel seen. It's just making everyone feel like comfortable and feel like they're like welcome. <laughs> Pretend like you like each other. Ah, I have the power here, I just... <laughs> Yeah. Oh gosh, we're gonna break our skulls. No, we're not. Okay.